Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. I'm blessed to be able to try so many different skincare products as part of filming content for you guys here on Mad About Skin. However, despite all of the new products I might be trying, there are some holy grails that stay with me for the longest possible time. I want to share those with you in today's video. These are the skincare products that I am never without. As soon as one bottle finishes, I've already got another one on hand. These are my true skincare loves and the products I think have delivered the greatest difference when it comes to reaching my skin goals. Sit back, relax, let's top the 10 skincare holy grails. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know, first of all, what your experience has been with any of the products mentioned in today's video. Just because I happen to like them doesn't mean everyone out there has to too, which is why I want to get that conversation going. I'd also love to know what one product would you choose for inclusion on this list, your own holy grail skincare item? Again, let me know in the comments section below. Whatever your thoughts, feelings and opinions on the products I show today, if you're enjoying this style of content, don't forget to let me know by reaching down and giving it a thumbs up and a like. The more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much so much. Now, without further ado, shall we cut that waffle and delve straight on in? Now, because I've got a lot of product to get through here, and you guys know when I start fangirling and going on a rant about how much I love a product, it can take up a large segment. So I'm going to try and do this a little bit more quick fire, but still capture the benefits of each of these ingredients. Up first, this is the Medicaid Liquid Peptides. Now, this such, such a good product. My original favourite peptide serum was the Hyalamide Sub-Q Skin, and I think secretly that is still my favourite, but it is being discontinued, meaning it's really difficult to get your hands on. I'm going to leave a link to the Hyalamide Sub-Q Skin in the description box below, because in certain countries there is still some limited stock available, and I'm here to say stock up while you can. However, if you can't get your hands on the Sub-Q Skin, this is almost as good. I love the blend of different peptides in here, and I would definitely say, when it comes to choosing peptides, remember, they're not all created equal. Different peptides have different benefits for the skin, so treat it like a smorgasbord of different peptides. Different ones to capture and harness all the different benefits that you can see. In this, Medicaid takes the stress out of it for you, packed full of different peptides in really high concentrations to deliver you the most gorgeous, juicy, plumped up skin after just a couple of uses. This feels so lightweight, it glides on, sinks in, doesn't leave that tacky feel that some more drugstore and affordable peptide serums can, which is why this might be a little bit more pricey than I normally would reach for, but I buy it time and time again for just the luxurious, elegant application you get, coupled with the beautiful formulation. Now, Medicaid is probably the most expensive item I'm mentioning here today, and you know, for those of you that follow the channel sometime, you'll know I'm drugstore to my core. I will only ever overpay if I think I'm getting something extra for the additional coin I'm spending. Ending. But two of the cheapest recommendations that I think are honestly game-changingly good are these two. So let's kick things off with the Q&A Skin Marine Hyaluronate Toning Lotion. Now this feels so so good on the skin. They call it a toner but I think it's got more of a serum viscosity to it. It is gel-like, it bouncy, it feels really calming when you apply it, deeply nourishes and hydrates and within just one application, like 20 seconds after you put this on the skin, you notice that plumping, that hydration taking over and you definitely can cheat a good skin day by just a couple of applications of this. The way I choose to use it is I will apply a thin layer, wait like 20 or 30 seconds and apply another equally thin layer on top. This gives you like maximum juice up and plumping to the skin. This is a really, really great anti-aging serum. Whilst that's not on the bottle and the main reason to reach for it, there's a lot of calming and soothing ingredients in here, which over time can minimize hyperpigmentation because of course inflammation is the number one trigger for that excess pigment production in the first place. It also can degrade collagen. So make sure you always have a calming and a soothing step in your skincare routine. This is definitely one of my preferred options. Again, at the drugstore, this is the Revolution Skin Miracle Eye Cream. Seven pounds. Not only does it look beautiful, <laughs> when I wake up in the morning and I go into my, I stumble into my bathroom, barely awake, and I see this little gem gleaming from the side of the counter, always makes me really, really happy. And this packaging looks way more bougie than the price point would suggest. It's also really, really effective. So you've got some great quick wins in here, things like caffeine that are going to de-puff the under eye area and help fade any discoloration you might have. It's also got some great anti-aging benefits for the long term and some pigment correcting qualities too. So it'll give you that immediate fix, those long-term payoffs, which makes it just a dream of a product. I actually covered this in a standalone video, I love it so much, which I'll leave a link to up there if you want to check it out in more detail. But this, this little pot of joy, 
so so good and i find that one will probably last me four months meaning you're getting a whole lot of bang for your buck when it comes to this one now when it comes to vitamin c's i kind of gave up on finding my holy grail i thought there's never going to be a vitamin c that just works for me my skin is particularly sensitive when it comes to vitamin c in its pure form ascorbic or l ascorbic acid use the wrong product i react it's very prickly burning i get very redness prone and i really worked through a whole suite of different vitamin c serums thinking i'm never going to stumble across that perfect one. Well, about a year ago, I actually found two and I want to call both of them out in this video. Let's kick things off with this. This is the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% plus Alpha Arbutin 2%. I'm a great advocate of saying when it comes to vitamin C, don't just reach for the highest potency, the strongest concentration, because actually you can end up with the opposite results to what you're hoping to achieve. Go with something more mid-strength and use some other great ingredients alongside it to fade hyperpigmentation and boost the radiance and luminosity of the skin. The Ordinary do it all for you in this product. You've got a mid-strength ascorbic acid in that 8% concentration and some alpha arbutin, which is a potent pigment corrector. It's going to eat away at all of that excess pigment, smooth everything out and trigger a lot less sensitivity than some of its higher concentration equivalents. I got some really good results with this and the best thing about it, it's £9. It's drugstore, it's affordable and it just really, really works. It's also quite nice and hydrating in terms of its base formulation. So in winter, when I do find that ascorbic acid in other formulations can be a little stripping on the skin, not with this, it actually adds back that hydration which just makes this a ding ding ting holy grail all round. If you don't mind spending just a little bit more, you can always reach for this. This is the PSA Skin Light Up Mask. Now, I use this a couple of times a week on my way to the gym. So my gym to drive to takes about 10 minutes. So I'll put this on before I leave the house. Drive there, 10 minutes later when I arrive, I'll rinse it off and my glow game goes through the roof. This is the fastest acting vitamin C serum I have ever ever tried. I'm calling it a serum but actually that's a little bit deceptive because this is one of the few wash off vitamin C treatments. That sort of short contact time is great if you've got a more sensitivity prone skin type and you don't want to leave a vitamin C on the skin all day long. Reach for something like this, it's very hydrating, it's got some great calming and soothing ingredients alongside it and when you reach for this not only will you get that gorgeous glow up, that boost of radiance and luminosity but it also adds back some hydration too. You can feel it the second you put it on the skin. Has a nice warming sensation to it but you can feel just how rich how hydrating it is I mean this is a really great option you actually could just use this as your standalone vitamin C a couple of times a week this is all the glow you need for me I like to use this on the days where I'm not using this to make sure I don't miss out my vitamin C hit but whatever your choice these two are holy grails for a reason now we always say a good skincare routine is never complete without the application of a broad spectrum SPF and it's taken me quite a long time to find some SPFs that actually deliver for my skin I'm super oily and breakout prone use the wrong SPF with the wrong formulation and I am like zip sent for quite some time afterwards. So it really was the fact that I couldn't find a hydrating sunscreen that could act as a moisturiser and SPF all in one that drove me to create my own, which is this, the Mad About Skin Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. Broad spectrum, which is really important to protect against UVB and UVA radiation. But it is also so, so good because it disappears without a trace on the skin. No ashiness, no white cast. Also leaves behind a veil of hydration. So if you're like me, you've got a really oily skin type, you can use this as your moisturiser and your sunscreen in one. If you've got a dry skin type, see how it works for you. It still might be enough hydration or you can put a moisturiser underneath it and just pair it with one to dial up the amount of hydration you're going to get. That flexibility and the fact that it never pills no matter what you're putting under it is why I am so so proud to have put my name to this one. It's a lightweight finish, feels elegant on skin and I've kept the price point really affordable because I always say that quality sun care should never cost the earth or break the bank. Reach for a product that's affordable enough that you can apply multiple layers throughout the day, but leaves you feeling like you're not wearing anything. That I think is the mark of a good sunscreen, one that you actually look forward to applying. I never really had that experience until I formulated this, put it on my skin and thought, yes. I actually look forward to finishing my skincare routine, topping it off with this, knowing I'm getting that locked in broad spectrum protection and a little hydration to boot. Now my skincare routine is very much tagged towards anti-aging. You know, I'm coming into my 37th year here on planet Earth and I definitely have noticed you know, a little loss of firmness and elasticity and increase in fine lines and wrinkles. That happens to us all and honestly I think aging is a privilege. However, there are some things we can incorporate in our skincare routine to boost our skin confidence and minimise the appearance of that ageing on the skin and these three products are my anti-aging holy grails. Let's kick things off with this, the Indeed Lab Synoxin 2 Serum. 
I'm not going to say too much about this because I actually covered it in a separate video that's kind of gone semi-viral. I'll leave a link to that up there. That video, I know so many of you guys discovered the channel through that video, which makes me so, so happy. It means this has a special place in my heart, but it also just works. You apply it to the crow's feet, the laughter lines, the elevenses, those wrinkles which are caused by dynamic movement in the skin. Within two hours, everything's smoothed out. They call it Botox in a bottle. It's not quite the same as an injectable Botox treatment, but it definitely gives you that instant anti-aging result that I think we all crave. It's for the same reason that this, the Boots Collagen Night Cream is a firm favourite of mine. Now I actually tried this quite recently because it was getting so much hype online. People saying one application, 10 years off the skin. Well, I had severe fear of missing out. So I rushed to my local Boots, tried it out and fell in love. It's just a really rich night cream that has some soluble collagen in there which acts as a humectant to plump out the skin. It's called a night cream but I choose to use it morning and evening, especially on those days when my skin's feeling a little dehydrated. It's really up to you how you use it. There's a touch of bakuchol in here which will have some anti-aging benefit and a lot of people choose to use at night. But honestly there's nothing in here that means you can't use it twice a day if you want. It's bouncy on the skin, it plumps, it gives you that dewiness, it minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles thanks to that plumping caused by the collagen and it's just a really nice all-round treat for the skin. A bottle like this costs £10 and probably lasts me around two to three months. If you've got a dry skin type and you're using more, maybe a month, but I think for a high quality night cream that's a great price. It's glass and it feels super bougie. Now, finally, in the anti-aging category, before I come into one honourable mention, we call it this. This is the Geek and Gorgeous A Game 10, a firm favourite of the channel. This is a retinal-based retinoid, which is wonderful for boosting collagen and elastin, minimising fine lines and wrinkles. But studies have shown that retinal is actually more effective than over-the-counter retinol. There might only be one letter difference, but it's a whole different world. And I covered the differences in a recent video, which I'll link up there. There are an emerging number of retinal serums on the market, but they tend to come with quite a high price point. I'm cheap, cheap and proud, and I hate overpaying. And in a recent video, I compared and contrasted some of the best selling retinal serums to work out which was the best. Again, I'll link that up there, but a bit of a spoiler, this came out on top, and I'm so pleased it did. The cheapest by far, around £14 I pay for this, and it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous application glides on, smooths out really, really easily. Definitely one of my favourite anti-aging retinoids, particularly if you've got a more sensitive skin type and you find that you just can't tolerate tretinoin or adapalene or high potency retinols. Give this a try, you might be stunned by the results. Now, finally, last but not least, I want to call out this product, the PSA Skin Silver Lining Moisturiser. Now, the reason I saved this till last in my holy grails is this is a holy grail for me, someone with oily, acne-prone skin. I think that this is very specific to that skin type. However, if you've ever struggled to find that perfect moisturiser for your acne-prone skin, you think that just everything breaks you out, weighs you down, try this. Not only is it super lightweight, it's also packed full of ingredients that are actually going to minimise that prevalence of acne on the skin. Silver is a great antimicrobial. You've got some great exfoliators in here which are going to eat away any acne scarring, hyperpigmentation you have, and it gives you just the right amount of hydration. Not thick, heavy and occlusive, but not so lightweight that it's barely noticeable. Just that sweet spot in between. This is such a great product. And actually the second mention of PSA Skin in this video, which is why they're one of my favourite skincare brands at the moment. I must have gone through 10 tubes of this now. And if you have super oily and persistent acne in the skin, give this a try. It isn't the cheapest moisturiser out there, but I promise you, after just a couple of uses, you'll be sold on just how effective this is. Throw away all those other over-the-counter acne treatments that just aren't cutting it. Try this and within a week you'll definitely notice those breakouts have subsided, your skin seems smoother and you can already see the fading of the acne scarring and hyperpigmentation. This, if you've ever suffered with scarring or hyperpigmenting acne, will be your holy grail. So there you have it guys, a whistle stop tour of my 10 holy grail skincare items. The reason I wanted to film this video today is I think often as content creators in the skincare space we're accused of constantly cycling through products. Yes I do try a lot of products out, it's part of the fun of filming content for you guys to keep it fresh, but there are always going to be those holy grail products that stay with me throughout my skincare journey. And I wanted to share them with you today so you know that whilst I might experiment with new skincare, when it comes to results, consistency is key. If you find a holy grail, cling onto it like it's your best friend. And that's what I've done with these 10 products. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.